Hey loves and welcome back to my channel or welcome to those of you who are new. My name is Shawanika, aka Shanti from Shanti Speaks. That's still me, aka Tay from Pillow Talk with Tay and Tay. Either way, it's me. Um, I know for those of you who have been watching me for a while now that I've been missing in action and I'm sorry. Um, but um, a lot has been going on in my world and life has been life in. So thank you guys for joining me today or for watching this whenever you do turn this on. I thank you um, again for your continued support. And those of you who are new, welcome and thank you for joining us. Um, so just a little bit about where I've been, what's going on in my world, and just some transparency for everybody because, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I'm human. And I want the world to know that I am because I have issues just like everybody else. I'm not always so happy and chipper as I appear when I come on this screen. Um, I go through things just like everybody else does. And unfortunately, this was um, a season of unfor unfor unfortunate events um, that took place in my world. And they've been really like uh, causing me to not be as um, inspired, so to speak. So I want to make sure that even with me on here inspiring everyone else that I help and that I'm a part of their world, I still have those times where I'm not so inspiring. And um, I want everybody to know that it's okay. It's okay when you don't feel good or you don't feel like um, life is going the way you want it to go. And it's okay to take a moment, take a break, take a pause, take a step back to really um, reconvene. Um, so these last few months, we've been dealing with my mom and her health has been failing. Um, unfortunately, um, we don't know how long we'll have her for. We just pray that she will be able to bounce back. But if in the event she doesn't, um, we know that God's going to call her and bring her when he's ready for her. Um, but during this season, though, I've been dealing with a lot of different emotions. I've been um, sad. I've been mad. I've been um, frustrated. I've been uh, confused and um, just disappointed and um depressed at times i mean i go i've went through a lot of emotions here lately and it's just been really hard to process um when you watch someone who has um difficulties with addictions and mental illness go through life um it's hard because it's, you feel like you are lost because there's nothing you can really do to help them other than be there for them so that's honestly all i've been doing right now is just trying to be there for my mom my husband and i we've been being there for each other and for our children as best we can and it's just been um been a roller coaster but i thank god sorry life still life in so as i was saying i thank god that you know he's keeping me through these challenging times and that um that I haven't lost myself completely. Um, even before my mom got sick, I really was feeling like I was um, in a season of um, isolation and separation. Like I really felt lonely and alone. Um, I Like I said, I have my husband and I have my children. So I do have people around me, but as far as outside of them, um, you know, friendships and um things like that and just connections with other parts of my family. I didn't really, I don't, still don't and didn't really have a connection or don't feel like I have a connection with anybody. Um, and I had to understand that um, it's not me. For a long time, I blamed myself. I said, something's wrong with me or I'm doing something wrong or I'm not saying I'm perfect. Hear me out there. I am nobody, no way, mean, shape or form. Can't even get the words out of my mouth. Perfect, but... I just kept feeling like it was something wrong with me as to why I was not being included or as to why I was being kept away or um, not thought of or feeling like I was that lost child, that black sheep of the family. I'm like, but I'm trying to live my life right. I'm trying to help people. I'm trying to be there, trying to be transparent. I'm trying to, you know, cover my emotions to protect theirs and things like that. And I here lately have been learning that it's um it's more so of um isolation and separation in preparation for transformation because god has been doing a work in me 
He has. He's been transforming my mind. He's working on transforming this body. He's working on transforming my soul and my spirit, my tongue, my thoughts. Like all of that has really been under construction. And I just thank God for the season that I'm about to enter into, or that I'm entering into, that I'm currently in and I'm entering into. Like I'm leaving all of the darkness behind. I say it won't ever creep his little ugly head back up because it always does some way, shape, or form. But because of who I serve and who I believe in, I know that I'm, I'm going to be okay and I'm going to get through it, even if it does show back up. But this transformation is a beautiful one because of my closeness, my connection. And I know that it, as the closer you get to God, the more you're under attack. So I try to stay focused, try to stay grounded. I have my day and I get through it. I try not to dwell in it for too long because when I do, that overly consumes me and that day becomes a week, that week becomes a month, that month becomes months and those months become year, a year and years and it just continues to grow and spiral. So I um, I have my moment, I refocus, I reconnect, I, you know, uplift myself because they say, you know, you can't expect people to make you happy. So you have to find out how to make yourself happy first. So that's what I've been focusing on is like, what makes Shawanika happy? What makes Shauncee happy? What makes Shantae or Tay happy? You know, and just focusing on those things to kind of really like lift myself up each day and encourage myself to keep going, keep moving, keep pressing forward. So that is what, what, where I've been, what's been going on in my world. Um, we've had some deaths in the family. Um, I've had scared some siblings, dang near <sighs> losing their lives. So I'm just thankful that God is still seeing us through all of this. And I'm praying that um, I'll continue to press forward and continue to do um, what my life has been called to do. So there are going to be some things that I'm going to um, dive into because my heart has been called to do it. Um, and Pill Talk with Tia and Tay, don't quote us on this, but we're going to try, y'all. Um, we'll hopefully be back very soon on Thursdays. We're going to focus on Thursdays. That's our goal. Um, and we may even try to do some lives to kind of get you guys on to chat with us if you're interested and would like to, like, ask questions, just talk with us through the live. Um, definitely join us. And I'll, um, if you got your notifications on and you are subscribed to this channel, then you should be able to know when we go live. So we hope you join us for those. Um, I've been trying to refocus this channel on um, just touching the lives that I'm called to touch. Um, initially when I set this channel up, I set it up because I wanted accountability partners to help me through um, my fitness journey, um, career journey, all these different things. And I still need you guys as my accountability partners just in different areas. Like I'm still going to cook. So stay tuned. Once I get my equipment situated, y'all. So bear with me. But I'm still going to cook. Uh, still pillow talk with TNT. But there's some other things that's been placed on my heart that some of you may not like. Some of you may not agree with. Um, but then... <clears throat> I say, if it's not for you, then that's okay. Share it with somebody else that you know would benefit from what I say and what I share. I don't hold it all to yourself. Don't be selfish. Don't be don't be keeping it to yourself. Give it to somebody else who can benefit from it. So definitely share it with those around you that you know would need this information. Um, I don't want to be stuck in the mindset of worrying about clicks and views, but I do want to reach and touch the lives and make a difference. I want to help plant the seeds into the lives of the people who watch these videos and help make an impact on their lives to help them think about transformation for themselves. Um, so if I can plant the seed, I know that you guys can water it. So I'll put it out there. And you guys take from it what you need and whatever you don't need. Again, don't be selfish. Share it with somebody else who can use it, y'all. Because um, that's the whole big thing. It's like we're paying it forward. We're helping others. We're making a difference. We're changing the narrative. We're being lights in dark places because there's so much darkness going on around us right now. And we just need to make a difference. So um, I hope you guys stay with me. And for those of you who, like I said, are new, thank you for joining me. And if your cousin, your auntie, your grandma, your friend, whomever you feel like can need, need this, want this, can benefit from it, tell them to come watch it. Um, share it with them. Let them view it. Whatever y'all need to do. But uh, make sure we can spread this this light around this world, the Lord, around the world to make a difference in somebody else's life. So I thank you guys so much, Lord. Thank you for this opportunity to be able to talk and to share um, and to be able to come back and...
do what I do best. I enjoy talking, y'all, so I'm going to talk. And I hope you guys enjoy this channel. I hope you guys enjoy the content that is to come. Thank you so much for joining me today. And as always, be blessed and less stressed because y'all know what Shanti speaks. Thank you.